Good morning. Well, here's your video of the 1951 Chevy truck. Um, it's actually got a 59 engine in it. I think it's a 231, I think it is. Anyway, um, here's the, a look at the oil on the dipstick. Um, let's see if I can get that color for you. I, uh, charge with only one hand. Just changed the oil last week. Uh, engine does have an oil leak. Uh, it drips a little bit. And um, here's the inside of the cap. in there can't really see too much and the radiator I keep that topped off it's ready for winter haven't checked the specific gravity Sorry, this video is uh, moving around a lot. Hope you don't get car sick. Um, his truck has never overheated, especially since I got the radiator, took the radiator out and got it cleaned and soldered. Um, engine seeps a little oil. Um, I believe from the from the valve cover gasket, but more from the side cover. I, I guess is that side is covering up the push rods. Um, here's the new gas uh, fuel pump. Here's the vent, um, crankcase vent. There's the new starter. Um, Here's the new shift box. I'll uh, try to go underneath now. I'll take a look. Okay, there's the leaf spring that I was talking about. The, oh, this is pretty hard to show. Sorry for the shakiness. But there is the brake in the top leaf spring. So you can see all the all the leaf springs are still attached front and back. But that top leaf spring is split in the middle. Um here's the leakiness of the oil and I was told it's probably a rear seal that has to be replaced that's not good news I know I think that's about 500 or so this what looks best on this truck is the rebuild transmission and you're not going to use that if you're putting in an automatic there's the master cylinder for the brakes um, Here's the torque tube. To the rear differential. 